Well, our next category in this Indian of the Year function is Entrepreneur of the Year Award. That's right, Gargi. For a young and aspirational India, the quest is no longer about finding jobs as it was in a few generations ago. It's about creating them, the ability and desire to take risks and chase a dream no matter what the barriers is what defines the spirit of entrepreneurship. And to give the Entrepreneur of the Year Award, I'd like to invite back on stage Minister Ashwini Vaishnav. And uh, Senthil uh, Chengal Varyan, uh, Executive Director, NDTV. And there, though. And the envelope, yes, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Entrepreneur of the Year is. Some guesses? <laughs> Deepinder Goyal. Well, Deepinder Goyal, the man we literally think of when we're all hungry. Yes. Uh, an alumnus of IIT Delhi and the CEO of Zomato, one of the world's leading food delivery and restaurant discovery platforms. The man it's who over. delivers to a hungry That's India on absolutely. time. Absolutely, and uh, it's 15 years old now, this Zomato, and of course we order from it all the time. And Dipinder, we Dip were wondering whether you would wear green or red today when you came for the function. But you've come in white. <laughs> very it's neutral, in very safe. But you know, you, you know, jokes apart, success isn't uh, delivered on Zomato. It's, uh, it's something that India is hungry for. What's your message to a hungry young India which wants success of your kind? Um, I come from a very small town in Punjab. So I think uh, the only message is no matter where you're born, no matter what background you come from, you can actually make it. So wow. and I think this is just a start. I also want to appreciate the fact that, um, you know, I, I know you were joking about what color you'd wear, but you made a certain announcement and there was, a, there was criticism, there were a lot of comments, and you took it in your stride and uh, you, you, you know, you then recalibrated. So that is something, if you could just tell us a bit about that, because that's something very special and very important in business leaders and leaders otherwise as well. I mean, we did a large survey saying what will make you order from the Zomato more and this came up that we want a pure veg fleet okay and I mean the way we grew up we don't know the meanings of these words and what is the historical context and none of our team actually knows this so we are actually indifferent to this right and I think that's the purest form of letting go of any casteism, any religion, any biases. Like, we are actually indifferent to it. So, I mean, we just went on and did the change. But when we got the feedback, we actually understood that, okay, this makes sense, this makes sense. And we were actually on a Zoom call for the next <laughs> 20 hours just trying to fix anything that we <laughs> needed to fix. So, uh, in, in, on a lighter note, have you ever secretly used Zig Swiggy? I told him not to ask this question. <laughs> have you ever secretly used Swiggy? No, I have never. I've never. What's <laughs> 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 that? Yeah, said you should say what's that, yeah. Definitely. Well, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.